right here, we get made. You know, we'll start out, he and I do a piece of eight, simply shoot the gear, we make sure things are working okay. If somebody's there, they're here looking over my shoulder when I'm doing it, watching Chris, what he's doing. And uh, you guys step in, whatever he feels like, you know, you want to start. Because uh, that's what we're here for, to train you guys, not just to watch us. You know, we'll tell you, explain, there's different ways to set here. Some guys pull down small amounts and then flake it back. They get spaces and people knocks. And other people, they'll hang on to that and try to shoot them. They're trying to shake them if there's any issues. How are you, right? Issues being um, a loop underneath a couple other loops, and then that whole lot of want to go out at once. Cross nuts, um, that kind of thing. The further back, the easier it is to set because the line has time to straighten out. And uh, if you set from about here on back, it gives your, you know, hook in the track. So the next hook would be about in the mating area. So that little piece of line would be straightened out before it's ended up the back of the boat. Because if you set all from up here, it gets uh, an inconsistent pattern in the way your lips pay up. And they're lifting up more instead of off the end more. That's right. So don't want to slide them up past this. This is where you start. Right? right. Unless you're the beginning of a set, you're really loading it up like this. You know, you load like another rack on here. And, you know, the guys are used to it. This, no problem. Yeah, that's all right.
stuff adjusted then? Yeah.
vessels and reduced costs in mind is the new Marco Mini Circlematic system. Using the same patented baiting technique as in the reliable full-size Circlematic system, the Mini Circlematic has proven to be as productive on smaller vessels as well. The new Mini Circlematic system has also been designed to utilize larger circle hooks making it more adaptable to today's fisheries that target a variety of species, such as halibut and black cotton. On this 56-foot vessel, three crewmen are operating the mini circlematic baiting machine easily and cost-effectively. Complementing the mini circlematic baiting machine is the compact circlematic slack taker, which features the built in water powered Ganyan unwinder. The Ganyan unwinder handles Ganyans that are wrapped around the ground line, thereby assuring maximum efficiency in placing the hooks back on the storage magazine. By using the Marco Ganyan unwinder, a highly effective method of hauling the gear back assures a quick turnaround time in getting the hooks back into the water. The Circlematic slack taker is mounted to an adjustable base, allowing the slack taker to be oriented in any direction to fit the vessel's deck arrangement requirements. In this next scene, using hair Marco Circumatic Longline System, Marco Marine, Seattle. The bottom longline fishery in the North Pacific has undergone phenomenal growth in the last few years. Vessels, such as this 141-foot factory longliner, can catch, process, freeze, and store 250 tons of product in one three- to four-week trip. However, fishing in areas such as the Bering Sea requires not only vessels that can withstand any weather condition, but fishing equipment that can maximize fishing time. Competition from other boats and fishery closures means taking advantage of every opportunity to set and haul gear. It means using circle hooks, which have repeatedly proven themselves to be far more efficient than standard and modified J hooks. It also means using an automatic longline system that can bait and haul 30,000 to 50,000 hooks in a day and stand up to the rigors of setting and hauling around the clock. The Marco Circumatic Rack System was developed with this in mind and is the only longline system in the world that can do this with circle hooks. These scenes were taken aboard the Lily Ann fishing north of the Aleutian Islands. At the heart of the Marco system is the automatic circle hook baiter. It effectively baits thawed or partially frozen herring, mackerel, or squid. Here, circle hooks are being baited by the circlematic during setting. Each hook is being precisely rolled through the cut bait at three to four hooks per second as the lines are set overboard. The hooks are typically double baited. That is, they penetrate all the way through the center of the bait and out of the other side. The result of double baiting circle hook shows up at the bulwark roller when the fish come aboard. The circlematic.